Well, hello, pretty woman. Jennifer Lopez, by the way, Ellen. Say hi. Hi, Jen. Jennifer hello. Lopez. So who's going to win? You probably know more than I do. I don't know yet. You but always I, know you have the envelope and you're uh, backstage and you're peeking. <laughs> I, 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 and then you go like this to me. With I, the I eyes. give you a look. <laughs> well, you always say to me, tell me who it is. Tell me who it is. And I say, I don't know yet. Yes, yes you do. I don't know now. Right now, I no, don't. No, we don't know yet. But I can cast a glare. What's the glare? All right, I'll give you a glare. Here's, if it's uh, Caleb, I'll give you this look. Okay. <laughs> What? If it's what? Why are you laughing at me? Go ahead. Keep if, going. If, it, if it's Gina, see how different the Gina if it's Gina, I'll give you this look. Oh. <laughs> I wanted you to give me the, this look. You know, something really oh, like different. that? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, those are my two. <laughs> those are my two subtle looks. <laughs> um, but I mean, look with both these two, as you know, are great. They're so great. They're so different. And they're so different. Right. That's the thing. I don't know. You you look at them and you think who's going to have a real recording career? Who's going to have you know, longevity, and it, it's just hard to tell right now. You don't, you never know. You know, I, I, I always say you're one hit record away from <laughs> superstardom. Yeah, you know it's true. I mean? Just one record, you know, and what you make of that. It's, it's the same thing like with this experience. It's like what you make of it. Doesn't matter if you come in tenth or first, even mm-hmm. though you have a much better chance if you win to really, you know, run with the ball. But you know, they all have a chance to do something. Now they've been given the opportunity, and they deserve uh, this opportunity. So I was watching the Billboard Awards over the weekend, yes. and you came up on screen. And what did I think? What, what went I through my skinny. mind? <laughs> what went through my mind? How, how how would it go through my mind though? You go, wow, she she's on that vegan diet. She looks skinny. Yeah, shoot, I need to start the vegan diet. Yeah, immediately. I need to start the vegan diet. <laughs> I, I, I see, well, this. I, <laughs> it's true. I see Jennifer on beautiful, and, and that registers. But then the other voice in my head goes, "Why aren't you dieting like she's dieting? <laughs> Why aren't you eating like you she's don't eating?" Need to, baby. We all need to. Okay. But you have done a vegan twenty-two or longer I did the plan. Vegan twenty-two and it, it day for plan, you. and it was really good. And I kept on with it for a few more weeks, and now I've been, you know, incorporated a little bit of fish here and there. But I got to tell you, yeah. I enjoy it. I enjoy. Um, eating that way. I, I never did, and I didn't know how good you can feel when you really put healthy stuff in your body mm-hmm. because I was so used to just eating the way I grew up. You know what I mean? And, and I think that's what it is. I don't think it's so hereditary like a chemical chemistry thing. I think it's hereditary. It's passed down to you. How your habits, it's a habitual Did you get thing. gassy? Because I did week two. No. I did week two. I, I felt like I had less gas. Oh, good. <laughs> well, finally. <laughs> Lucky for you guys. Yeah, right. Right. So, uh, as uh, as as I I know you uh, you're finishing as Idol, if. and and you're always thinking about the next thing. Yes. So, what is the iron in the fire that is uh, immediately after Idol? Immediately after uh, Idol, I'm going to do a show in the Bronx, mm-hmm. um, a free concert in my hometown. That's a big deal. It's such a big deal. It's so great. And I guess when the minute we put the tickets out, they were gone. Oh, they were free. <laughs> but also, it was just, it felt really good. You wonder, you're like, is anybody going to show up? I wonder. And the tickets are free. That would be really right, bad right. if nobody did. Um, but they did, and it's awesome. And we're going to have a huge crowd out there at Orchard Beach. And it's going to be, you know, I'm going to give them the best show I can give them. You know what else I was reading about you? The, mem- the memoir. This I just oh, saw yes. this. I didn't it's know anything about it. But, but I just read an article. Right. Okay, released here's a what memoir. Happened. Here's what happened. After I came off tour, oh my God, tell they me. were like, why don't you do kind of like a diary of the year you were on tour? Because it was my first world tour. Right. And, you know, and I had never toured. And everybody's like, wow, that seems amazing. You've made so much, so many albums and you've never really done a world tour. So I was, I started like, it was supposed to be kind of a fan book with a lot of pictures right. and little anecdotes about being on tour and how I put the show together and Blah, blah, blah. And as I started realizing how I put the show together and everything that happened on tour, it became a different book. Right. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm writing a book about, yes, that year and those couple of years uh, leading up to the the year before the tour and the year, um, like right after the tour. So it was like six months, the tour, and then six months. Um, And everything that happened to me through doing the tour, through examining my music and saying, oh, at this time I did that song and at that time I did that song because of that and those songs fit together and this is who I am and this is who I was. And, you know, and all of a sudden I'm like having this kind of cathartic journey through my own life and looking as I was holding up a mirror to myself in a way. And 
everything that I learned during that time. You know, I had just gotten divorced and things like that. And so and I was on the road with the kids by myself for the first time. And okay. so it was just like this weird thing that happened in the book, you know, and but it just it, became something else. But yeah. you didn't mean to. No, you didn't mean to have it happen <laughs> because I, I what I what I read it. was an article talking about you facing your fears. Well, that's the thing. There was a lot of things that I had to face. You know, going on tour for the first time, you know, could I do that? Could I do that now with kids? How was it going to be to be on my own as a mom and doing this? Mm-hmm. And also just performing every night. Like, what was that going to be like? How was I going to hold up? Was my voice going to hold up? Was I made for that? Right, I had right. never done it. There was so many things. And then it was just, you know, just this learning process and everything that I learned and I really did come out a stronger person that was a very transformative year for me and the tour and like I said examining the tour through my music and putting the show together made me really realize a lot of things about myself like where had that girl gone you know when when I was making that record and what happened and where am I now and and I just came out this kind of stronger person and I learned a lot of things and I just felt to myself you know if I knew what I knew now when I was 20, mm-hmm. you know, would I have wanted to know that? And the answer was yes. Of course. I would have. But, and so if I could share that with somebody like, hey, this took me a long time to get to this place and to learn these things. Do I put this out in this book? And that's it, it was a struggle. Put out the stories, put out, you know, some vulnerabilities about myself. Because, yeah. you know, we're always putting our best foot forward in show business. You know what I mean? It's sure. like I put up my good face, my happy smile, and nobody knows what's going on behind the scenes. But to to open that that curtain, pull that curtain back, and let people into that, and say, "Well, this was actually I was thinking at that time," was scary. And I really thought, "I do I want to do this?" Did you realize <laughs> just before I let you go? Did you realize when you were out on tour that you do need a significant other, or you don't? Because you say you, you, you that, did it all yourself. That love love starts inside you. You got to love yourself first and then you can maybe have a good relationship with somebody else. Until then, until you figure out that piece and really understand what that means, which I did not, then 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 it can it could go better for you. And that was a lesson to Ryan. (laughs) Okay, Jennifer Lopez, first love available on iTunes now. If I came in dressed like that, it, it would look like I was trying. And, you know, he comes in looking like a rock star, and it works perfectly. Uh, you know? <laughs> I'm just looking like me, Ryan. You, you mean, the, the necklace and with Ryan, the cross. And Ryan, you look like you. <laughs>